Hi, this is Craig with Design Bro. Today I'm going to show you a quick and dirty way to match colors for print. So what we're talking about here is when you are printing to your own printer where you're not sending it off to someone else, you kind of just want to get a match and make sure that things look right. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a square or rectangle and we're going to copy it and pull it to the other end and then select them both. Now we'll kind of line them up just to make it look cleaner and get the blend tool. Now with them both selected you click on one and then go to the other and what it does is basically blends the two shapes together so if you had two different shapes you could see it kind of morphing together but since we're using the same shape twice you kind of just get this line across. Now with your blend tool still selected if you hit return or enter your options palette will come up and we're going to change it from smooth color to specified steps. Um, it wants to do 20. Let's change it to about 16. What we're trying to do is get a little bit of space in between so we can see the different colors. Now let's say that the color that we, we know we want is kind of like a purple color. So we'll go ahead and get it close. Let's see, that's a little blue. There. So we'll get it we'll get it close and then we're going to get our direct select tool that's the white arrow and click on just one end and then we'll know what what kind of direction we're going towards like I'll know that this needs to be more red so I'll pull this slider and you can see it start to change from one side to the other this side's more blue this side's more red so then you'll run the print and then you match it to whatever you're trying to match it to. In my case, it's a paint sample. And that's and then you'll make your adjustment. So now I've made my print and I'm looking at it and I see this paint color and then I realize that this square right here is the closest to what I want, but it's not quite right. It needs to have a little bit more yellow. So what I'm going to do is with the selection tool, select the entire thing and then use the eyedropper and I drop that square so that the entire thing becomes the same as that square. Then we basically just start the process over. We, with the direct selection tool, we go and get the end on the right and we add more yellow. All right, And then we just start fine tuning it. The idea here is you want to overdo it. You want to add more yellow than you think it should have so that it falls in between somewhere here when you print it out. Now here you can see I've put several on here and I just wanted to show you that this is when I typically do this I'll do several at a time that way I don't have to run lots of prints it's not as time consuming as you would think you know if you were just doing one at a time you just stack as many as you need to do and go from there so I hope that helped this really is a quick dirty kind of way to get your colors looking really good really quickly thanks again I'm Craig from Design Brawl